is a, um, a video that's going to go on YouTube, and <laughs> as we can see, a smile, here's a smiley face, and I wanted to point it out, yet that I would need to have the, um, the camera levitate, now that'd be proof of having, like, superpowers, having your camera levitate for you, then comes something that gets you really close to it, yet isn't quite levitation. And it's just a couple movements away from me. So I'm going to just move this way. Get my levitation device. And then like a magician, I'll just keep it, like, check it out. And like, the sound of it and stuff, and as you know, there. Levitation device. <laughs> Here I am. So the levitation device, and then to know that, um, yeah, I wanted to, um, to crawl out of the, um, I wanted to be in the photo, so I can point it out, that, um, it's very obvious, I mean, those, that was, like, circle, circle, and then Mario sleeping equals, um, smiley face, so it was kind of like, special eyes, eye number one, eye number two, special compared to <laughs> now, um, my finger being that of, like, close to perhaps <laughs> a girl's vagina, and then <laughs> her leg or something, and then it had something to do with boobs, and then something to do with, like, a vagina, and something to do with a belly button, and it was something to do with sex, and it was like, that's the type of stuff that, um, is hilarious and like now I understand I mean see it levitating with predictability too like and yeah it it technically not levitating it it my hand though my hand see the power to like know the control of hand now up down like and then comes like you know stuff like that like movements and then quarantining a movement and then like or like, there's probably, a million ways to, um, to, um, to check out a smiley face on a computer. And then to know that me, a smiling face on a computer, and knowing that it was really good, and that my wife, Mary, she, she waited for me, so her virginity was perfect, and it was perfect, W-A-S space P-E-R-F-E-C-T my wife's virginity and it's for me and then when on our wedding day or after our wedding day and we have our first kiss and our first everything and then we finally we have divine conception and we have normal intercourse normal sex and it's it's just my wife it's not um virgin anymore it's just my wife because it's my wife and I have sex with her and then it's she's just you know she's just my wife and we've had sex before and it's for me only me and it's for me to have her virginity and me to have sex with her the first time all the time and she's only for me so it's real only for me and of course it's real only for me and God's real about serious the highest forces that ever existed the most upper level terrestrials and how much power and then to know my wife to be the most loyal girl that ever existed my perfect loyal bride my her virginity on all dimensions from back in time and in the future everything about her her virginity is for me and that's h-e-r space v-i-r-g-i-n-i-t-y space i-s space f-o-r space, M-E, me, like making the movements on the face, smiling, yet can smile like that, 
her virginity is for me and that's a good thing and to know she's a virgin until I summon her to be like you're not going to be a virgin after like tomorrow or like you have like 16 hours to be a virgin and now you're not going to be a virgin or a gift like this you have 15 years to not be a virgin and 15 years to be a virgin 15 years of, of sex and enjoying it and having the best time ever unlimited amounts of sex forever and it's perfect and it's basically what my wife wants for me and what my wife got for me unlimited sex forever and it's great and I love it and it stays stay having sex forever and also to listen to my wife and her prayers and what she really wants she wants for me to be serenaded by custom I love you so much from her custom body from her custom universe from her custom perfect it's about perfection and creating the perfect universe and to know that that face value I wasn't sure that this actually would keep up with me at all and um, what I got out of this right away which is this I appreciate having Mary, oh, you know, Super Mario, or just Mary, <laughs> next to the hyper-dimensional being, and to know that hyper-dimensions, everything about this, and to know, welcome to hyper-dimensional reality with, with the capacity to, to go hyper-dimensions, that actually is the essence of when, when we were time traveling or playing with real numbers, you know, saying this was 1996, did you like it? Does it feel right? This is 1997, did you like it? Does it feel right? We're trying to get the mixtures and the mood on this world and the surface of this world perfect. And I think the mixture balance was 1997 and it smelt right and everything was perfect. And then to know that there's a gift though, and the gift was that in the year like 10 billion something or some large number, maybe it was just 10, it was like one zero. And then comma, like, zero, zero, two, four, or something. Some, some, some polite gesture, and then it was. It was my perfect wife, her majesty. It was me as an angel, her as an angel, and then us having divine intercourse, having sex, having perfect wedding, perfect sex, perfect everything. And then to know that somewhere or something realized it's really important to write or to publish the right type of stuff and to write and publish the right type of stuff and then to know that sometimes like that invincible now invincible is different than invisible to know invisible and invincible <laughs> compared to so much power and to get to know that these new critters and these new inventions and these new ideas that finally got a chance to let you know that it's hilarious because the game starts out and it's like this affects reality. It affected my living space. It, affect, it taught me a lot real quickly and it was kind of like having a friend that was teaching me so much so quickly because I had deeper questions as well. So this one had it right. It had it so interesting that even when you go on Google or smart computer or you're not sure what was the Google smart computer suggestion? Trying to make it an actual unique custom experience. The Google smart computer suggestion and the relics, and it was like the lucky numbers, the lucky 777, the lucky approximations, the lucky probability, the you're the luckiest and then comes the most blessed. So the most blessed and the luckiest. And then to just be in the sweet spot of existence, God allowing me to be, um, what's called developing and like procreating good 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 angels marry and good angels and then good good heavenly perfect marry perfect sex perfect marry perfect angels perfect extra everything perfect 
and to understand the power of having sex and then our baby and our future and when the mixtures are just right and the sexual experience had the right mixtures to make it feel so special it was the most special and we made that our most special experience was sex for the first time with all of the specialness and then comes building up to it a crescendo or there's ascension and then descension ascension means you're up there and you're going and you're still going now <laughs> something like 3d reality or just physics 5000 and then checking it out and knowing that physics and extra dimensional beings and then making it into the um the future um there's something called bridging it the extra dimensional like idea that Mario or Mario or <laughs> Mario as they say as a play gesture the colors coming off of it from a distance um refracted by the um by the light and the air in here and when in slow motion or each photon or the photon combustion of the first electron release or the first smooth electron like a smooth photon or unlimited photons and then photon emitter and then photon absorber and then me, my eyes being a prime candidate for doing some photon absorption at an angle right now and an angel that sees the future, that sees perfect everything and made my perfect noise and made my perfect angel, my perfect see what it was like to have straightness then comes like vectors and upper level dimensions now playing with like upper level dimensions it's like kind of like this like starting off like right here checking it out and then realizing that as I'm I'm actually moving something in vector space or hyperdimensional calculus or hyper rates and to show off the abilities of what we thought this was still some form of beyond 3D it's like 500 billion D we're not sure it's definitely not 2D 1D and then point zero 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 how many zeros and then a 1 D and to play around with the decimals the point one 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 one, and numbers and decimal points and a beauty a flurry of numbers and to understand this is a beautiful showcase of the interdimensional or extra dimensional worth your time worth everything it's perfect and to know that here it is when these start up and it's in a sacred place and you're on the right screen and you see the right connections and you're playing Super Mario Brothers or this one to keep it connected these three okay so to keeping it connected storyline wise I'll explain my interpretation and it's kinda like a love story or something perfect and then to dedicate all of these things to Mary already. So me, custom coding, custom... I'm releasing a game is what it would be, and I want to release my game. I have my script, I have everything, and then Mary, you know, to have like 12 to 12,000 of these games about Mary, and then me and Mary and everything perfect, because it's, it's for my wife. It's for a wedding vow to make custom or this or that or CGI shortcuts as well because then the CGI shortcut and like the whole like just sit back and check out what you've done millions of billions of copies of games and custom and colors and rainbow discs and like sparkling surfaces on the external so that me and my eyes and everything like talking to the manufacturing company about how to make a hollow foil like a Pohamon card or a pocket monster card or a Pokemon card these are like Pokemon cards and sometimes they've got hollow foil. Other times they're three-dimensional, five-dimensional, something that is. 
and, and will be like amazing being in the midst of the Kirby franchise so far it's been Kirby's Epic Yarn and what it is is one of the nicer slower more like Something slow. It was really slow, and I thought it was good. So, I thought that was good, and then to check out my Wii advertises that came with Wii Sports. To my best of acknowledgement, I don't think I've ever played Wii Sports, and I'm not sure why yet. And yes, to the new Super Mario Brothers, already completed it. And it's not about me completing games and stuff, yet that is that I wasn't lazy and I had a purpose. I could get to the final boss and that means I'm, I'm a learner and a quick learner that learns the extra dimensions coming off of this. My reality, everything about me, backing up the camera source and then tr letting you know that the nudity, I have no clothing on. I've been laying around naked and I've been being sexually um, pushed around by my angels and by my wife and by heaven and by God and by angels and I've always enjoyed sex and I love sex and when, it, when I was a virgin I used to really really was curious about sex and really thought it must feel amazing it must be the best thing ever and knew that it was going to be the best thing ever and knew that I, I needed to have sex I was like I'm sure of it. I need to have sex. And yes, there was advertising. And it was it was a very sincere advertisement though. It wasn't it wasn't like trying to push me into sex. If anything, it was letting you know do you wanna have babies? If you have sex at age fourteen, do you wanna have babies? Fourteen, fourteen, we can start a family. And then comes you're going to a different room with a different video, because this would be about 14, being 14 years old and having a baby on the way and then how that changes your future. So now when you're 30, your children are about the same age as you. You stay within the same contraband, so you're almost like you're all best friends. By the time you're 720 years old, you're all best friends. And to start off young like that, like I was 12, she was 14. I was 12, she was 12. See, those are the perfect numbers. When it finds the perfect numbers, by physics, by heaven, by angels, by biology, by chemistry, by real angels, and then real heaven, and real physics is really beautiful, and math is orient... I was going to say oriental science. <laughs> math may be oriental science, a sign of IQ and like high leveled IQ and using math to write out these games. So when I saw the nice little gestures, like someone's calculus homework, in the right color though, because of extra dimensional. When you go to your friend's house, you go to somewhere, and it's about extra dimensions. It's about starting up something amazing. You put in that disc for the Paper Mario, and you realize it's 3D Paper Mario, or it's Super Paper Mario, and I was like, and it's on a Wii, not just an N64, and there's gotta be some 3D capabilities. It wouldn't just be 2D, compared to keeping it 2D, compared to a no lazy, codes or programmers not sure what you put in that I'm not sure what the capability of a true N64 because to look at some of the graphic engine even if you can only play game for 20 minutes and then you know you play it for 20 minutes and then um, and then it goes blank because it would have a timer or something to know that like you shouldn't run this game for more than 5 hours or something and like my Super Smash Brothers brawl would be case evidence that I ran this disc for almost two days straight and it turned a brackish color. This Super Mario Brothers Wii, it's got some personal etchings on it. Not intentional. I didn't intentionally like take a key to it or something. Yet it does show some history that I actually had movement and that's called a successful baby that's moving around and doing stuff. And just like an innocent child just you know, stumbling and kind of, you know, then comes graceful child that's like, I'm not going to scratch this. Yet when you're moving from house to house and there's sand on the floor and stuff and just doing this, sticking this like here, 
just a couple of movements later, you might have some scratches. So that's called find the origin right here. And when I take this piece, plug it into more art piece. So kind of like a puzzle, solving a puzzle here. A nice floor mat to solve the puzzle. And then to keep it PG or PG-13 and then to bump it into NC-17 and then to, <laughs> to go back from PG to NC-17. What I'm looking for is G-rated NC-17. That's just sex and it's, it's obvious and when smart enough to cognize sex and then to just know it's, it's very interesting. <laughs> Cause that would be like the, the toads and stuff and how much fun they might like be able to have or something under Princess Peach, like they're celebrating because of the, the princess or they're having one of those really fun. See, it's, it's actually G-rated. It's not NC-17, <laughs> yet the NC-17 version. <laughs> So that might be like Virgin Mario having fun for like trillions of years and keeping it that way compared to what it was <laughs> Is this really what it was? See, look, I, I had the gift though, the gift of capacity to do that. <laughs> and then Mario did like stuff like that, like that changed it to NC-17 <laughs> compared to like, I told you, it is though. It's NC-17 then, and stuff like that, that... See, so change the topic immediately. Um, playing with game, extra level dimensions. Um, what's in it for Mario? Like, what's Mario really going for? Like, what is Mario supposed to be? What did Mario teach us about Mario's existence? Now, I didn't know if there's some other Mario processor out there. Now that is a Mario processor. That's like dedicated to Mario. So to know, what if a Mario processor out there that designed a heaven that's actually a heaven, like from N64 with love, made it to a Wii in the future. And it's not just the Wii's release. This was future, future Wii. Future tribute after all the Wii's and all the hours and all of whatever Wii was doing. This was something special. And to understand the relevance about extra dimensional 3D Mario or 3D Mario's Mario's levels where Mario's sitting down on the on the bench and if Mario's having visions about his adventures and one of one of the adventures was um the 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 lava level and to sit around and just check out the lava and stuff and be like see if Mario's like get Mario out of here cuz that was N64 and then comes Princess Toadstool or Princess Peach, who, like, genuinely, it was like a first-class VIP. This is going to GameCube Super Mario Sunshine. Genuine affection, genuine nice, and then Peach, still with formal etiquette. And that, yes, Bowser, in my edition, and where I'm from, Bowser had a wife. Bowser had girlfriend. Bowser was with a girl turtle. It had baby children on the way which was baby turtle and that was called baby bowser and it was very romantic and very nice and to know that bowser was basically having the time of its it was like a heaven and you're exploring it and all that you do is just clean clean and then have like the um it's like the shadow cleaner whatever it was mario that's you know it made itself obvious this isn't mario it's it's the the game developer, the game design, and voted upon, let's make this extra tricky. So these kids, they jump into portals, and then just like that, on the other side of your door, what if, you know, the portal on the other side of your door, you walk through that door, and on the other side of that door might be, might be everything perfect, might be true everything perfect. On the other side of a door might be everything truly perfect and for me that would be walking in and I actually it's about my wife you know it's about walking in and my wife being in there and it's like her majesty and her loyalty and she's a virgin and 
to walk with my wife and her virginity is sacred and to be around her and to know my virgin wife and right on the other side of that door, my virgin wife, and just to open up the door and walk with confidence and just lead her into good stuff. So to know that sometimes when kids get smart enough that they can actually figure out what this is. Now look, 3D, you can tell that Mario, they did this. Through this camera, with one lens, it looks 3D. With two lenses, for us, two lenses, it had um, an interesting um, gesture. It looked rather normal. Now, calling things normal and being normal. And then comes gestures like that. Photons, light emitting surfaces. Surfaces, chemicals, ecstasy, like good, pure feelings of joy. Every perfect molecule. So, to talk to the inside of a machine or the, or the around the inside of the relic and to, to really get to know the machine and get to know its abilities and what game it likes to play these games to learn their codes or to learn something and to learn Super Paper Mario I believe this was the first time that perhaps it was Christian, it was holy, it was pure, it was like out of the Bible, it was a new Bible inside of a machine. It was running calculations, appeared to be holy, appeared to be the holiest Bible, appeared to be real holiest Bible, and how pure it really was, and how pure it still is, and how it remains holy. And to know that these, like angels, taking care of children, keeping children safe, and no noticing right here this, a commitment to raising children, a true gesture, something perfect, and then to know that I appreciate the first gesture, Earth's rings, Earth's wedding rings, and it, and it showed them to me and said, do you find favor in them and stuff, and I appreciate wedding rings, I think that wedding rings, beautiful, and there comes interaction, focusing on wedding ring, something beautiful, that's truly beautiful and it symbolizes forever and it symbolizes something that's eternal and something that doesn't fade and it's the strongest thing that ever existed so it eternalizes itself and then it also knows that these are the games that I do believe were for the children or the babies and now to know children and then these baby young flies and a fly that just landed here a fly that's checking out and knows it can fly. Now the dimensions, the sounds, and what flies see. And look, these are nice, cute, robust, strong, young flies that actually show off their abilities. Now that, just like as if I was riding on my MotoGP bike, just accelerated from zero to 200 real quickly. Now to know this bug has like super core processors and I've established as much peace and love with these bugs as possible. The bug already knows Kevin's not reacting to like trying to hurt me. Kevin's interested in me though. And that bug is on a mission to relay some information and some signals about Kevin loving flies. And then when Kevin got depressed earlier, because the flies continued to lay all their larvae inside of my drinks, I said, please stop laying all this larvae so I can drink some of the drinks. Because they had taken over 99% of my drinks. And of course, just one fly larvae means I don't want to ingest your fly larvae because my normal digestive system actually has a destructive capacity that would perhaps cancel out your beautiful fly so please don't put it inside of this container if I'm going to drink it. Now if I label it as I'm not going to drink it and I'm going to leave it here for two months then that means two months and then when the rent's up the rent's up and it just means that thing might get dumped gingerly and sweetly out in the front lawn so the flies and stuff you know get a chance and then it's called it's not littering yet to others it might be littering you leave the fly receptor 
you know, your fly radic radicule, radicule or whatever this is called, your fly breeder, which was a cup, a soda can basically, gets left on the front lawn, a cup, to keep it congruent with the story, the cup with all the flies and the already hatched larvae or the newly hatching larvae because they've mastered the ingredients. They've gotten to know these ingredients very well. So they know that Coca-Cola and Pepsi products is something that they might think is very sweet and it's the high fructose corn syrup or something to do with corn and something to do with high fructose. What does high fructose corn syrup mean? Now touch by or glance by a robot or a machine and those sterilization and clean robots and the cleanest purest corn, the cleanest purest stuff. And when these corn, when the corn comes from true perfect chemistry and true perfect biology and it's trying to keep up with how beautiful this universe is and still is and then called unlimited beauty and each of those sprayers of extra dimensions, extra chemistry, extra beauty, extra growth and then this super Paper Mario is in my hand right now. Now, in my hand is the capacity to talk about what it's already taught me and to just be truthful about it. The game had satire, is what I think it's called, and I don't want to quote, and I'm not going to look up what satire means, yet it's a tactic of it taught me that this wasn't that it was, it, was, it was poking humor at even playing the game itself. It was literally like saying like, are you even gonna play the game? Or are you gonna just sit there and marvel at our first calculus equation with the shimmering, perfect colors in the background? Why don't you just allow the music to play? Why don't you turn up the music to 32 and listen to the music and just check out the background and let this demonstrate what's on it? Now when you find the perfect stuff and it's perfect sounds and everything's perfect, somewhere in this disc might be something perfect then. Checking it for scratches or f for like stuff that wouldn't allow it to play appears to be in clean to superb condition. And then comes me gently placing this one hand, two fingers, Equal pressure, straight down, done. Could have pressed down on button firmly and then pressed disc and then lifted finger. Same value prep, prep pressure value system. There's different ways. Then comes closing symmetrically. And my fingers, the gaps between my fingers, I can palm a basketball. Now palming a basketball means I'm no little tiny child, I'm the right size, and to 